Hello strangers, it is time for my punishment video. Now, I have a very sloppy tablespoon of cinnamon, and I couldn't find any orange juice without pulp, but, or with pulp, so I only got the without pulp, but I like them both. I think the point was for me to not enjoy drinking whatever it was, but I like both cranberry juice and orange juice with pulp. So, Mmm, I'm not looking forward to this. Hmm. 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 Trying to rescue what I have. It's a waste of good cinnamon. Hi. Oh, look at my teeth. Mmm. Okay. Well. Mmm. Tasty. Just. I'm gonna clean this up now. Actually, like everyone freaks out, but I don't know, it wasn't that bad. Just in case you're wondering, I probably will never be able to read this online, but it is Pimsy Spices. True cinnamon. Not none of that grocery store variety stuff, so it's actually really powerful and potent. The key I found out from watching some of Sean's videos, I just don't want to knock that over, um, is to not breathe in through your mouth. And make sure your mouth is plenty wet ahead of time. Then it ain't so bad. Now, I can only imagine what would have happened if I had, you know, braids in. Part of the reason why the challenge is so hard to a lot of people is it's spicy. And spicy food doesn't bother me. The other part is more from the chemical aspect is it's uh, hydrophobic. Fine powders like that, even highly soluble materials at a fine powder, like salt, are hydrophobic. Now, there's a lot of oil in cinnamon, so it's definitely a hydrophobic powder, um, which means it repels water, so trying to get it wet can be challenging, hence the powder flying out of the mouth. Um, <coughs> you breathe, end up breathing some of it in. And that can also be unpleasant to some people. Kind of burns a little bit. Other than that, yeah. Um, I'm almost caught up on you guys' videos. So I think that will be it.